Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. Today we're going to be doing computer assisted morphometric analysis and we're going to focus on one image. First things first, go ahead and check out the link that I left below for the project files. You're going to want to download these so that we can process them if you want to do this together step by step. Then go into image J, open up the first image. That's going to bring up our lithic artifact here. And we're going to start by calibrating image J. And so we select the ruler here, set the scale to six. And this way, we're going to be able to get some precise measurements. And you're also going to want to make sure that it, all of the images for later when you're batch processing are at the same resolution. Now, open up Record from Developer's Menu, because as we go through the steps, this will create a macro for us so that we can use in the next video. Okay, go ahead and change that to 8-bit, and then we're going to go to Auto Threshold. Make sure that you change this from white objects on a black background. So, and then here we go. We've got our two major objects and we can start processing this. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and dilate this to try and close up any gaps. And I'm going to fill in the holes and then we want to erode it back again so that we're not changing the fundamental depth there. We also need to get rid of the ruler. And we can do that with the magic tool. Select the ruler and then just use the paint bucket to remove that. Since we are creating a macro, we want to make sure that we get rid of that selected area. You can also press, just press Control Shift A. And now uh, we've got the main object here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, process the or analyze particles here, which would allow you to process multiple images right here in the same screen, but um, we don't need that for right now. So just make sure that you've got the display results, clear results, summarize and exclude on edges. So if you do take an image of multiple artifacts and some of them are cut off by the sides, then, that the analysis will just focus on things that we have all the data for. Okay, and so this is the image that has been analyzed, and you can see that we've got this little tail here. For our purposes, it's not going to be a big deal, so I'm not going to worry about it, but if you did want to get rid of that, you could go back and use the pen or the paint tool to remove that over here, um, and then reprocess it. And get rid of that. Okay, so the summary it contains the data that we need here. You can see total area, average size, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The perimeter is going to be a little bit off because of this part here. But again, we're going to focus on this ferret data, ferret X, ferret Y. The ferret. The, this is also known as the maximum distance and the minimum distance, and that just means that it finds. The, ma the maximum length within the shape and the minimum length within the shape, um, but they're not necessarily uh, uh, 90 degrees from each other. The ferret X and Y will find the uh, maximum distance horizontally and the min minimum distance 90 degrees vertically. Uh, but not, again, not necessarily just in the middle. Uh, this is departure from other methods that try and get some uh, subjective middle point. And by doing it this way, we get a much more objective reading, as well as we get reproducibility, because with the image, the computer analysis is going to do it the same every time. And if you've used calipers, you know you don't always get the same image. So there you go. First step, measuring a single image. Thanks for watching.